So when we get into a connected park, we have to make sure that we have connection to the outside of the lens so that it gets start. But you're going to hit the front. You need to be able to move your leg without moving pelvis. Okay? So this would play into blind pain somewhere else. Which I'm sure you all guys think are really super fun, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, well, there's that. But, but so we've got to keep this feeling of like a bolt from your hip flexor down into your seat bone. And it's careful not to come to front. Yeah? So you need to be able to move your lower leg from the hip. So let me move your leg. Let go of the gap a little bit. So you need to be able to kind of go, okay, outside leg. It's going to say canter. And clearly, again, for him, you don't have to move a lot. It's not like you have to go this direction, right? It's pretty easy. Pretty easy, yeah. Um, so let me go around here on the other side. And it's amazing how many people I've done this to who, when they go, when they have problems with flying pain, so I'm like, hold on, let me take my hand under your seat bones. And they go to one hand, and that hip comes up, the seat bone disappears, and it's no wonder they can't take that pain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because if you tighten up and lift your bone up, it's just going kind to of drop. And then his back drop his head goes up in the other direction. So we're going to rotate that side. Yes. So notice how that changes what your seat belt feels like when you plant it. Yeah. Um, so again, now if you were going to plant your left, you need to be able to move this here. Well, good job. All right, so the right seat will stay. Take your hand left. Take your hand right. Take your hand left. Take your hand right. Okay? So when we get into lateral work, we have to think about where the seat bones are in terms of where the horse is at, right? Um, and so your shoulder in, if you're going to your shoulder in left, where your seat bones are in, right? Like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, really, it's like, it, you know, so, so I like people, and maybe do this, walk on, go walk on the whole thing corner, and go walk from the shoulder and down on the side, right side on. I know, So this is a little bit the moment of me getting inside your head. Um, so ride the whole thing there, and then tell me as you're riding shoulder and down the long side in the box, what are your ages for children? Because everybody answers this question in their own way. Because, you know, I was right. Yeah, good, good. 
and that rotation of your pelvis. And your shoulders really are going to go with it. That's better. Make another quick roll there and go back to it again. So the right thigh is huge. And left shoulder is Yes, I have a I have a feeling that. This is why we started here. <laughs> I'm glad you could do this in a walk. And keep the armpits strong back. Yeah, that's good. So the right leg has to be, the lower leg has to be slightly further back. You know, again, being careful. <coughs> being careful that it's not so far back that you can mistake it for entry. But that, yeah, yeah, good. The right leg has to be making sure that the one doesn't step it outside the line too far back. All right, let's go down the center line, just right here, in my control. And we'll do the first half of the center line, and shoulder and up. Yeah, good. So it's like rotate your whole torso in the box, and we'll keep going up, next one. Keep the right leg just starting, the right leg just as far out. And X, make a little bit of left. And then a little bit of the right. So let's figure it here. So a little bit of left for B. So the model can be like this here. <laughs> As you return back, we're going to go take right. And then from X up to the rest of the sideline to A, we're going to go over and right. So think about the two sides as a unit, pushing his shoulders. Front of the right line, super. Yeah, good. The arm is what I want you to feel a little bit of energy in the front of your sternum. Good. Yeah, don't break right knee. <laughs> okay, so A track right, and then we're going to go take trot. Let's check in where things are in trot. Okay, before we go to that Good, really nice and up transition. So when he's a little bit sort of more full of himself, right? If he wants to take over the speed of his leg, make sure that your posting is very, very regulated. That you are feeling a pause, yes, a pause in the air. Excellent. And I want a little bit of bend in your elbows so that your hands are slightly lifted. Because, you know, he's got this little bit of craziness in him, right? And he's like, I could just go mm, a little bit in my under neck, and he'll just go mm, a little bit with your wrist. Yeah, yeah, good. Nice. And then when things get nice, right, be careful that we don't open your fingers and let it all come apart. So at K, let's ride a little voltage right, and then shoulder and right. For at least the first half of the long side, maybe we'll circle again at me, but you are welcome to sit for close to the point. Mm -hmm. This stuff. Yeah. Hold it coming in the next wall. Push it up against that wall. Thighs move to the shoulder. Do you still have a little seat Good. Yes. The danger would be that your right leg might shove your left leg off the shelf. You know what I mean? Okay. Good. Good. So as you come back and shoulder in, the left leg is going to slide forward. Now you want back on so it's not going to slide left. Good. Yeah, that was really good for me. Super. And then before the corner straighten. And we're going to change that across the next bag and okay. And I want you to do a little bit of lengthening of stride, but what I want you to feel like you do here is keep the coming wall, increase the groove, or kind of push, good. Now pull the coming wall back and flex all the way. Lovely. So what I really like here is that you can move the upper body back drive or hip anywhere get behind the motion. That's really well done. So now I got both say left and drop and relocate shoulder and left. 
on the small side. Keep the wall and keep the rotation of the side because here's where the calf, especially on the left, starts to go, hey, uncharged. And if your left calf is uncharged, then you're going to lose right Lift the wrist a little bit, feel the bump, get it in. Yeah, and you might have to show the raise this. Just with the hands. Yes. Yes. Good boy. So, careful again, right? Keep going to the slides. You part of the right ankle. Okay, there. Think about how you come out of the bowl, okay, into the shoulder in. If you're coming in, you know, like we all talked about, that you're going to almost make the first try to circle again. Slide the right seat bones. Right side, take on super. Keep the thighs as hard as you feel like you can, and then a little bit up. <laughs> Very good. So let's go one more time across the diagonal. Think about a little bit of resistance on the top of your wrist. I don't know if I gave that to you yesterday, but that little bit of slip, or you saw the one down there, but the band on our work. So keep the tummy wall, narrow your thighs. Look at this pretend. <laughs> And then draw the tummy back in, keep the arm bent. Oh, really nice. Walking roll break. Super. So tell me in your own words what that felt like in shoulder in or what really kind of clicked for you. You got really super good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right? 
But we have to make sure, too, that the outside leaded power has a shunt the inside to run off the shelf. Okay? So keep the right side rotated on. And it's up to you if you want to do it from long across. I'm fine either way, but I want you to feel like you've got the coming wall and that little bit of push against the wall. And a little bit of stir of energy to make that head. Like you've got a little push here. Did I push on you there yesterday? But that's already better what you're doing. Like you can see, you went into a downward head nod, you've got an upward head nod, right? So that little bit of push is going to work good. Yeah, so go ahead and stir. Keep the right side. So even when you're counting on the side, it's not allowed to come off. Nice job. Really good staying over the top of the energy. I still want your range a little bit shorter, so your hands are more up in front of the style than over the top of this. So the right side on. Breath down. Good. Breath down. Lift the wrist. Breath down. Yes. Turn it forward a little. Rotate the right side. Wrist to the top. Yeah? So you can pick your right leg and take it off again. Yes! Okay? But the thighs will stay up. So when I say pick the right leg, take it off. Only take off the lower leg. Good. Yeah, right back. Wrist up. Does the strength of your core match the whole in the range? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole thing is a little stronger in that moment. So the load's on the wall and the push against the wall, that's what they're down. Go back to the top here. The bear down has to match the whole on the right hand. Good. Yeah, and I love how in charge of the chat you are after the answer. Super. Okay, walk a minute. We're going to talk through the down transition from Canada's walk before we go try on it. Um, so, there's a timing element involved that we don't want to think of, right? Um, ideally, we want to ask for the down transition in the moment of suspension, right? When all the legs are in the air, so that then it can come down into the walk step. So, do you know when that moment is from when you're sitting up here? Yes, yes, good. So, um, let me hold your hand for a moment. Keep it on the ring. So, I would love to see a little bend, yeah? Um, any kind of hand that's really bend up. Um, so, ideally, the hot ball. I'm sorry, I don't know how long it's supposed to be. You have to have the bear down ball in the hand. That's the prerequisite before you think of any of the things that will tell you or some of the other that ball. And then it is a slight press the leg using the standard seat and press the thumb. Or in the other moment of like super strong or sweep the whole fist. Um, but it has to be let go so that you're not going like this into the down position, right? But then you go, okay, back halt and walk. So that the half halt is a complete tendency. And then there is a breath. For the next thing. And I think in most of us, the down position from here or whatever, trot, walk, walk, whatever you're trying to do, is the one place where it's most likely to have a half halt bleed into the next thing. And many of you, this is because you're still doing this right, right? You're still against it. So, we're going to first practice riding a half halt bleed into the community. Okay? So that you can take your calf off and feel like you said, hey, go to my hand, walk on me, Okay? So go ahead and take hand again.
talked about that yesterday, about do you need that much fit? So you might be able to just press the thumb button. Yeah, yeah. Then ask the next one. But I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I like it because like, oh, that's different. Did I make the other thing? So it is literally like you are pressing a button with your thumb onto the ring, and then you thumb it, and you don't keep a hold of the button. Then to the down transition, you may just do the same thing again. So half off, breath, and then the down transition to walk. Side on, you're coming off. Take low and your core. Now, question, did the underneath your knees tighten up and lift? Yes. Yeah, I think what happens is the butt really goes right Oh, Sorry, I'm about to carry it. Um, it's, it's really scary what I think from this here, right? Um, so, you may have to feel like you have to do a squat with the down position, okay? Because you're almost doing like the reverse. And then it's hamstring into the glutes. So, you want to feel like you're going to do a squat with your knees pointed in. Right, that's what it's going to feel like. And if anything, I want you to make a sound so that you know air is moving through. So you might go like P S T, um, or you might even go like because that the thing that my you're making noise. So you make the sound. Uh, it's like a it's like a football player warming up. You know, it's too much. That's the feeling you need in your walk. So you don't get into that. Like, no, we don't. <laughs> so let's take hands our hands. And if it helps you to make a slightly smaller circle to prepare for the hand walk, that's fine. Keep the rotation inside. Practice the half of the three. Yes. Five, breath, make a noise in the side of the wall. Better than you, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Um, if you are in for it, I'm going to do the band that um, Nancy is wearing next day again. Under your bum. Okay. Yeah. So on purpose, what I want you to do the next time 
Squeeze your bottom foot, lift the leg, raise the front of the muscle, then you let it go. So you're going to go like half halt, release, squeeze your butt, release, walk. <laughs> Take that off. It's a funny order, a order of events, but, but you're not, I know, you're not squeezing your butt on purpose to get into walk, right? But if you squeeze your bottom purpose, then your brain is in charge of, oh yeah, oh good, good. Keep the bear down. Oh, that's a good, not that part. <laughs> so, so canter, and while you're cantering, we're going to squeeze the release and squeeze the release on the feet. Good, yeah, thighs on, and on purpose again. Squeeze the tight. Okay, so he's already going home. What's he doing? I love it. Good. Use breath, then you make your down turn with your feet. That looks better again, right? I know you're still giving me some dog steps. Um, all right, I'm going to take the band away so you're not going to turn. Um, right, oh, but you keep jumping on your face, right? You can still front a little bit. So, what I want you to feel like, I'm going to do a little front and back here. Um, pull your toes along with me. You're not changing your pelvic floor. Okay, and you can push the pelvic floor down one foot with me. So that's now I'm going to suck it up. Yeah, and let it down. You're doing a good job keeping them all. Pull it up and let it down. The breath is a lot of that, right? Um, because the diaphragm is going to help the floor arc in the middle. So the diaphragm is going to be sent to the ear. It's going to help the floor really move the middle of the ear. But if your diaphragm comes up, it's going to help the floor arc in the So that's why I want to make the breathing noise. So the other thing you could try, I don't know if I said, Yesterday. You can put them in the back of your coffee. So try that now. And if you put your coffee in your teeth, many other things can do it all the way down. If you're really aware, maybe some of the practice ones, but um, it is all connected. I mean, I, I can do it, but you know it's all fine. Um, but try that in the down position so that you might go and then. The next one you might hear is on the video. Okay. Alright, let's go to the left knee for sake of working both sides here. Keep the right side. I'll have to move harder and move left. So even in your up transition, push your tongue in the back of your teeth, experiment with that a little bit, use it. Another tool in the toolbox. Ooh, it's funny how that makes your feet fly. So the pelvic floor is not meant to be like shoved down and pushed down all the time. You know, that's not how it's working but we want to avoid it to suck up, lift up, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to go to the Whereas down, yeah, sometimes they too is it a feeling like there's some wall. This is smart. The diaphragm again moves behind the abdominal muscles independently of them. So what we need to get the brain focused on keeping the wall, it makes it harder to move the diaphragm. Right there. Yeah, good, because I think the old you would have fallen six inches far the back when you did that, right? Keep narrow from thigh bone to thigh bone. Especially at your skin line.
cells the size of your hand. Let us go in an apple moment in your cat, right? Five of them, they don't have to stay strong. The arm is about to stay strong. You extend it from your calf into your hand, you release the drive and the receiving aid, and then you take the next thing, whether it's no more or what. Good. Yeah, rep, rep. I love that. Tie on, rep, wall, and wall. Good. Give a little break. That one's better. That one's better. That one's better. So, noticing, you know, I joke with people, it's not a joke though. I'm a professional noticer, right? This is what I do for a living. Um, and I want everyone I teach to learn to become professional noticers. And you have to notice more what's happening in you when it's your own horses, especially your situation. You've known this horse since he was before he was birthed, right? No one since he was an embryo in the Okay. 